So this is uh, my greenhouse design video and I made an unusual greenhouse uh, a couple of months ago and it works really good and I was trying to find out why. So this contains lots of uh, useful stuff I think. Anyway, uh, first things first is this is where the greenhouse is on my lot. So it's it's an unusual shape because the lot is pie shape and I wanted to use this little section here. And um, anyway, this shows a typical south facing lean to greenhouse. So it's uh, there's your house and there's your lean to and um, faces out. And I'll just show you what mine looks like. So mine uh, leans up to the north instead of to the south because I put in these big windows at the front before I even thought of putting on the roof and they were too high so that's why it leans back so it was a silly mistake and why does it work good and I'll show you that too so back to the, the lean-to greenhouse and we're going to stick in the northern summer sun and it starts off up in the nor uh, northeast so sorry north of east so it's not quite northeast in my uh, location so the sun sh starts off shining and it shines and it shines and it shines and it's just starting to hit the greenhouse now and finally it's starting to hit fairly decently but all this time here uh, it's not hitting it at all and that's something I don't know um, it's it's a lot like it's a lot of light it's low in the skylight but it's still there and it can be direct sunlight in the morning or evening anyway uh, first thing is how much light is it so southern half of the sky um, a guy in Nottingham England uh, did the math because I checked and I uh, made a little model and it was suggesting that in the summer there's less than 12 hours in in the southern half of the sky I would have thought it was be more than 12 uh, so he did the figures with an astronomy program and he found that it's in Nottingham in late June um, it's about ten and a half hours of Sun comes in from the southern sky and uh, the rest of the Sun uh, the sunshine comes from the northern sky the northern half of the sky so here coming up before it reaches southern sky it's three and a half hours which is a lot and also in the evening another three and a half so that's seven hours of sunlight is having difficulty reach this greenhouse because there's an entire house blocking the way and so I'm just gonna click this off now and click my lean away now my lean away the um, the roof is actually uh, it's against a fence so even if you had a lean-to against a fence the roof is going to be sloping down this way you're still going to miss a lot of this northern light but uh, what happens with mine is it hits gets through and as it goes higher like it goes higher in the sky it starts to get in and reach the plants but the first of it that gets through some of it actually bounces off the um, the front and the sides and hits the plants anyway and I'll explain that a bit later but that uh, might get uh, too, I don't know, boring. Anyway, so we're back to this again. So there, here's my lot. Here's my little greenhouse. There's a house and there's a little shed. This is a huge, enormous tree, which is uh, totally not affecting anything now. So the, <coughs> the fences around provide some shelter, and that's another aspect which we won't even go into today. Anyway, <coughs> sun up and sun down. Now, this was a big surprise to me, even though I kind of know this. But when you actually put it on a graph, it's quite different than actually knowing it. So December 21st, the sun <coughs> uh, rises down here in the southeast and goes to here, the red line in the southwest. January rises here, sets here, February here and here. And March 21, 22, around, this is when the sun the only time of the year when the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Now we're up to April and uh, 
you can see this isn't a linear thing. No, all these changes that I found, there's none of them linear. And that means that um, just common day to day, just thinking something through, we've got linear minds and it just doesn't work. So April, May. So in June, it's way up here, almost northeast. And it rises up. It's the three and a half hours at my location. So I'm, well, maybe it's around three hours, 44 north. Or what am I saying? Oh, I got this wrong. I'm 48.4 uh, north. So I've even written this in wrong. So sorry about that. Anyway, um, June, it rises here, comes all the way around. And it's way up above the tree here and sets up here. So this was a big, big surprise. And I'd, so I've put in the latitude wrong, never noticed. Anyway, 48.4 is my latitude. And if you go further north, um, the June figures are going to be higher again. And the December figures are going to be worse. So it's going to be for December, it might be rising here and setting somewhere here. But um, that's another story again. Um, okay, next thing is some screenshots. So F11. So this is this is in the morning. Sun is shining somewhere behind here, and my Linoig um, greenhouse, the um, the glass is kind of somewhat towards the sun, and if it was lean to, it would be way down like this. Uh, so. The sun would be bouncing off the last more, and I'll just show you that in a minute. So here is the sun starting to set, and it's way over here, coming in over the, coming in from the northwest almost. Here is um, another useful thing about the, the lean away is your gutters are going to be on the back where they're not going to be affected by, it's not going to block any light at all. So the gutter goes down here and into my little rain barrel. This is very important because it uh, sets up the reflection and how the, the um, light goes through the roof of the, the lean away. So uh, when light is... Per this is not, um, as you can see, it's not a straight line graph either. So light uh, perpendicular to glass, about 4% gets lost, so 96% gets true. So there's uh, as we go along. So even at, um, you know, what's this, 60s, 30 degrees to the glass, it's, um, it's still doing pretty good. But now, now we're starting to really, I don't know the difference between polarized and non-polarized, someone else will have to explain that. So as you're getting towards this end of the graph, more and more of the light is just bouncing straight off the glass. So we're coming up here. Now the difference between a lean to and a lean away in the morning might be from here to here or from here to there. So it's really substantial compared to if it happened to be in this area of the scale. And that's something that, um, that really helps uh, make the lean away uh, better as well. So here is a picture of, uh, so I just took a picture straight onto the glass. There's no reflection. I take a picture um, almost, you know, looking across the glass and there's a very substantial reflection here of the tomato plant. Like there's no greenery, there's a couple of little plants there, but there's, this is all reflection. And, um, oh yeah, back on this you can even see that uh, this was taken in the evening. There's light bouncing onto that. So here is more light that bounces due to this uh, reflective capability of glass onto the north wall. So it's coming over the wall of it, bouncing off the glass and hitting the north wall of the greenhouse in two different places. And here it is again and it's hitting here, it's hitting the greenhouse and somewhere here behind the, the plant. So, and that's it. So I hope this helps people with their greenhouse designs and thank you very much